Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox. We also got Tom Albert here with us, our cameraman. Uh, today we are at the Frontier Regional Track and Field, and we're covering a JV boys soccer game. Who is it against? Chicopee Comp. That's who it's against. They had a little bit of a breakaway there to start it off, and a nice punt from. Cousin, Jack Cousin, who's goalkeeper for the Red Hawks today. That was Miller with the pass up. And Gray's going to be there to watch the ball go out of bounds on Chicopee. Once again, I come into this game and I just don't know the other team's mascot. <laughs> That's a problem that I got to fix. I think you got to start just researching that. Yeah. I mean, I would, maybe if I didn't slack off so much like before <laughs> the game started. Mm hmm. Jacoby Cobb with a chance here. It's number 31. That's Danik. Passes back. And sent back up into the goalie box. Danik again. Centering pass. There was a whistle blown. It will be fielded by Cusson. I, like, I can't handle these papers, man. I've got to keep one hand up at all times. You know, it's really hot. You know, that's a really astute observation, Oliver. Geronimo <laughs> <laughs> Malloy trying to push the ball forward for the Red Hawks. Dean Gray sends it up. And it gets by the midfielder for Chickabee Comp. Try to send it up. That's number eight, Henry Pleasant. Oh boy. Break away. That is Seth, who is pushing the ball up for Chicopee. You know, hold my papers. I'm going to look them up again. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do the same same thing we did a couple games ago. And we're getting ourselves a nice little double header here today. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I. Let's see. While I'm doing this, I'll check the weather, too, because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to get cooler. Yeah, so the sun sets at 6.30 in an hour and a half. So we got to endure an hour and a half of 75-degree heat um, with the sunshine right in our faces. How are you seeing these guys' numbers? Well, I'm just holding my hand. Oh, well, a that's nice a fun sound. Oh, hey, I'd <laughs> what's going on there? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, no, it wasn't us. Okay. I, I hope it wasn't. Seth sends it off up of a free kick. That's 18. Who's 18? Landon. Man, how are you seeing these numbers? I got some good vision, man. Landon sends it for a centering pass. I can't tell who that is, but it's for the Red Hawks, and he's sending it back up to midfield. That was number 11. He is not on there. That would be Tatsuya then. And the ball is sent up. The goalie's going to get there and send it. Oh, my God. That is way out of the... My God. It's kind of um, close to us. Yeah, it was pretty uh, close. That was, I'd say that's about, like, 20 feet to our right or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, now we're call, but um, Man, you're really trying to find this. I am. Well, I want to know. It's a little bit easier. It, it's bound to be easier than saying Chickabee Comp every time. Oh, no. Red Hawks with a chance, and the goalie's going to box it in. The Colts. The Colts. Like the, like the, the NFL team. team. Yeah. yeah. Get, take your paper back. I'll, I'll take my paper I'll really view that. Like. And the the Colts coach, he wished, he wished us the best of luck, Oliver, for pronouncing uh, Jacoby's <laughs> names, because he said a lot of these kids are, like, Ukrainian or something from that area. Awesome. And so that's why we've got stuff like the goalie. That's number 91. His name is Yakov. <laughs> Boardwell there on defense for the Hawks. 
and that's Noah McMillan. I know that kid. Do you Passes know? it. Yeah, I do. He's gonna pass it up. And oh, are they gonna keep it in bounds? No. Yeah, that was the whistle. I'm already getting tired. This is gonna be a long game. It is, or at least a long hour and a half. Yeah. Well, they'd probably be just about finishing an hour and a half, I think. Yeah. Nice pass up. Can McMillan get to it in time? It looks like he won't. That's Brandon there. Centering pass to the goalie. He's got to pass it away. And he will. That's Camden along the near sideline. He pushes it up past Dean Gray. Is he going to keep it in bounds? He will. He's got a nice opportunity. Oh, and he flubs the pass. Chicopee. Oh, again with a bad pass. We'll have to look out for that. Seems like something they might need to work on as a team. Yeah. Because I've seen a couple of them that they've just completely whiffed. And there you go. There's a nice pass. Nice opportunity. And Chicopee's going to score. That was a great play there. Let's see if I can get his number so I can give him the name. <laughs> Who is that kid? He's, he's running back right now. It, the ball just hit him in the foot. I, I, can, I cannot tell. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the wrong side of his body facing to us. That's the problem. Yeah, just turn a little bit more. You got it, man. I, is that 11? That's 11, I think. 31. 31? Oh, wow. I was way off. 31. That was Danik. Danik, okay. Danik with the goal, and I'm pretty sure that it was Landon who was on the pass. The two, they call them strikers, right? Yeah, uh, that's the. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I played. Yeah. Me too. I don't think I've played a game of soccer since like fifth grade rec. <laughs> yeah. Middle school sounds about right. Yeah. Nice pass up. Pleasant's trying to get to it. Not in time. Now they pass it back. Pleasant, he's fighting for it, and it's going to get scooped up by Yakov, the goalie. Wow. Blake was kind of toying around with Pleasant for a little bit, it seemed like. I think they might caught a handball on that. Pretty sure that's what that was. Yeah. Or no. Wait, no, it, it was that. No, because it's Frontier's ball. Oh, it might have been. I, you know what? Well, it's Frontier's ball, folks. <laughs> and uh, let's see who that is. That Whoa, big kick going straight into the hands of Yakov. He's going to fall forward. Kicking his, kicking his feet around. Yeah. Just I mean, a little that break. It's a defensive tactic, right? Yeah, it's fear, maybe. Uh, fear, <laughs> did you say? Fear tactic. <laughs> fear Intimidation. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. <laughs> who knows? Maybe he, might, he just might be scared. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> Boot it up, and it's going to Cussin. It's going to scoop it up, and he'll throw it up to Fripp. Nice pass to McMillan there, across the field, and Tatsui is there. Oh, oh, oh. but that's pleasant. He's got an opportunity to score. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. That was both of us a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're fine. Ooh, mm. We can get excited. I'm not opinionated, I promise. But <laughs> I mean, this is what happens when you have two kids that go to Frontier covering <laughs> a sports game that Frontier is in. <laughs> we're going to have loyalties. Not me, nuh -uh. No, of course not. I would never. I mean, you, you went to Greenfield before you came to Frontier, right? Yeah, but... That's that's a different story. <laughs> we, <laughs> don't, we don't, we <laughs> we don't, we don't talk about, about that. Yeah. Talk about this up again. Seth sends it up. That's Danik again. Passes it over to Landon. Landon, some nice footwork, and it's going to get cleared out by John and Malloy. And a kick towards the goal is going to be scooped up by Cussin. Throw down. And is it going to get to Miller? It will. He's going to have to backtrack a little bit, though. Leaves the ball for Tatsuya. Malloy tries to send it up in a oh, big a kick. Boom. Can they keep it in bounds now? Yeah, that is Adrian Pesman. I thought I recognized him from here. Whew. It's Miss Greenberg's son. Adrian. Adrian yeah. Pesman, yeah. You know? just, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. No clip. <laughs> <laughs> nice play there by Pazmandy. I hope I'm saying that right. There he is again with another header. 53, that's Andrew. 
keeping it down. Ooh. And a field goal. That's what that was. Sent right through the uprights if my angle was right. Go Frontier! So now we, uh, we have a um, tie game at one. There's half an hour left in the first half Thanks. of the game. Do they do 45 minute halves or do they just do 40 minute halves? <laughs> just 40 minutes now? Yeah, that sounds about right. Gray, he's got to scramble for it a little bit. Sends it up to Fripp. Yeah, that is Fripp. And Gray again. He's up against Seth. Pass back to Malloy. And a nice pass up to McMillan. Frontier's got something going here. He's working on the sideline. Let's see if he can get a centering pass. It doesn't look like he will. Oh, he backtracks a little bit. That was a nice move there. Fripp going to send it in. Will it get past the goalie? No, he catches it out of the air. Nice play by Yakov. And a big punt, too. Oh, wow. That, that got by like five Wow. People. Well, look at that. And that ball's going to go out of bounds. Mm, these guys have got some legs. Yeah, they do. Ooh, that was 49, right? Hold on. Yeah, that is 49. I can't really see the number. Yeah, that's 49. I don't have a 49 on the roster here. Oh, well. Oh, well. He shall remain nameless. There's Malloy taking the ball for the Red Hawks. Tatsuya. Andrew again for the Colts. Ball sent up. Our nameless 49. I feel like th I there is just seriously no 49 on here. Sent up by Camden. And a pass up. Oh. Oh. Centering pass. A presence there. Let's see what he can oh. do. Nice play there by the Colts. I think that will be a Colts throwing, yeah. No, I'm really, I'm really struggling in here. <laughs> How so? Oh! McMillan gets the ball off of a clearing shot by Yakov, but it'll go out of bounds. It's hot. That's, that's how we're struggling. That's how we're struggling, yeah. Well, you know. It's not. I don't, yeah, both of us didn't really dress well for this. No, not at all. I wore jeans and a flannel today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, I'm just glad you're not wearing your beanie. You'd be well overheating. You know, I mean, we are overheating. I think. I don't usually wear my beanie while announcing. Yeah. In fact, I didn't even bring it tonight. So. Pass up to Fripp is going to get there. No, a little bit of confusion from the Colts, but Andrew's going to end up being there for his team. Passes up. Chipped a little bit. And now, I don't know who number seven is. Uh, no, I do. Graydon Gifford, that's his name. Passes it up to McMillan. Pass back to Fripp. Sends it forward into the goalie box, and Yakov is right there. <sighs> what, do you, what did you think about that play, I, You know, it was interesting. I get you didn't really, you didn't really have much of a choice there, but I don't know how I feel about the pass back. Yeah. I mean, I think that it was a good attempt. I think that the issue yeah. was they didn't move forward with the ball. They kind of yeah, gave up yeah, on it yeah. a little bit. That, and then that, that attempted, like, centering kick towards yeah. the goalie, it just ended up in his hands, and it just yeah. didn't really work out that well. I mean, I think it might not have ended up in his hands if they had moved with the ball a little more. Yeah. Gray gets a little bit of a body there. Oh, nice pass up. Pass. McMillan's there. Let's see what he's going to do. Stops the ball. Sends oh, it back. Okay. That was a nice play there. I like that. There's Miller. And the ball is going to go out. You know, I don't know what the position is, but like 17? Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, that's his name. I also didn't. I didn't get first names for the Colts roster. I just. I just got last names. Oh wow! Oof. McMillan checked by Brandon, and it looks like it might be. Uh, no, they're giving him a free kick, not a corner. Oh, maybe. Ooh, Andrew, no. What's yeah. No, he okay. He's, and he's good. getting up. That's good. I was ready to pull us into an injury timeout. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's getting subbed out, it looks. Yeah. So. Oh, maybe he, like, he's holding his side there. Maybe he's a little injured. 
Yeah. A cramp, possibly? Yeah. It looks like it. I mean, good for him for walking it off, too. But Miller sends it off the free <laughs> kick. Oh, oh, my God, it's in. <laughs> that was Dean Gray who got the goal. I not so much kicked it as deflected it. Wow. Wow. I, you know. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful goal that was. That was, yeah. <laughs> nice amount of luck there. Frontier's going to go up 2-1. to one. Timeout. Yeah, timeout called by the Colts to reevaluate. They're going to take a quick break, and so are we watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Oliver Cox, Tom Alber, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Murphy's back in his room right now editing <laughs> this. <laughs> we love you, Mr. Murphy. We do. Yeah. So we're just coming off of a timeout. Frontier is up two to one after a nice deflected goal by Dean it Gray. Beautiful. That was beautiful. And that was Carter Miller on the assist too. It was a dead ball free kick scenario. Come on, Nova, Pass gets by who's that? That's number thirty four. That's Camden. Throwing from McMillan. Ooh. Am I the only one that's hearing a bunch of whistles? I think it's I from. Do you, you know what? The field you field are really smart. <laughs> 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 no, because I keep hearing whistles. And I'm like, why is no one stopping? Nice pass up there. Landon, he's got to get by Gray, and he will. But the ball gets taken away from him. Oof. Well, you know, I'll tell you something right now, Oliver. Chickpea is being. Pretty aggressive, yeah, and very physical. I've seen a lot. Of, I mean, like, it was um, Brandon who checked McMillan on the near sideline a couple minutes ago that ended up setting up the free kick for the goal for Frontier. That said, whoa, miscalculated, yeah, just a little bit. I mean, it was a great effort. That was, uh, I think that was Seth. I heard the name Seth being called out anyway. Yeah, that's Seth Twitch. <laughs> Who's 18? Oh, right. I don't know who 18 is. Yeah, we don't. Oh, no, I do. It's Landon. Okay, awesome. Never mind. There's a Landon and a Brandon on the team. Nice. There's also a Camden. <laughs> <laughs> really just making this hard for us. Yeah. Not to mention we can't see anything. <laughs> Pass up. That was for Gifford. Jackson for the Colts sends it up. Who's that? That's number three. That is Boardwell. He's fighting for it for the Red Hawks. It'll get away from him though. Colts working up. Crossfield pass intercepted by Dean Gray and that's sent back up to midfield. Met by Gifford. And a good pass up by Miller. Let's see if Pleasant can get to it. He will. He gets a little separation and he's going to try and set it in. That was a handball, I'm pretty yeah. sure, yeah. Uh. Yeah, that, that, that was field hockey. I would I would have guessed, yeah, seeing as I it was behind us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miller is going to take the free kick again for the Red Hawks. He was the one who got the assist on that on the last goal. We also have a couple subs coming in on the sideline for the Colts, you can see over there. Oh, we got a kid named Murphy on the Colts bench. You see that? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, you can see his... Maybe, maybe they're just lying to us, but, I mean, the name the, na the name says Murphy. So. Yeah. Unless you're just seeing things. But maybe, uh, you know what? With this, with the sun right in my face, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I really wouldn't. <laughs> Miller sends it in to the goalie box, oh. and the header from McMillan goes out of bounds. That was a nice setup. That though. was. It was a really it was good. a pretty pass. These guys are kind of good. Yeah. See, something that I've realized about soccer is you got to use a little bit of, like, the British lingo. You know what I'm saying? You know, Footy. You know how they say, they say, like, descriptive words descriptive is more what I'm words. talking about. Like, pretty, Elaborate. beautiful. What a beautiful pass. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. Have you not watched, like, professional soccer? Not often. No. You didn't watch the World Cup? I watched a bit of it. A little bit of it? I, dude, I don't watch soccer, but I watched, like, all of the World Cup. Pazmandi slips. 
and an opportunity for Cobb. Did that go in? What are they going to say? They're going to say that's no goal. Wow. wow. That was a close call by Cousin. That's the second time he's the ball's hit his gloves and then it's just kind of rolled away from him. Wow, man. That was kind of scary. Yeah, that was scary. Gray's going to send it up. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was a nice header by Landon. I keep saying Paz Mandy different ways. I said it with a weird accent that last time. I wonder if I back up far enough. No, that what is it? Like. I was going to see if I back up far enough. The sun will get at my hands. Carson with a nice punt. Oh, Gifford's there. Centering pass. And no one's there. Well, Pleasant was there, but he wasn't far enough up. Uh, I don't know if he was just trying to, like, get it out of there. We'll, we'll, we'll just g just get away. Yeah, get it yeah, out of there. That's what I, I imagine. But you got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do. You know, I imagine that doing clock for a soccer game has got to be one of the easiest things in the world. You start at the beginning of the game, and then it just keeps going. And you don't stop it, like, ever. Except for, like, halftime, that's about it. Well, well yeah, I thought but that was going in, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, like, you said it for, like, 40 minutes, right, for a JV game. Or, like, I think just high school level game, you said it for 40 minutes. And then it just goes. And then at halftime, it runs out, and then you reset it. Yeah. That's got to be a pretty good gig, especially if you sure that's how for it. soccer works. I mean, yeah. Ball sent up. Landon's there. Nice move on Gray, but Fripp is there to clear the ball. Well, not really clear the ball. He sends it out of bounds. You know, just give, you, give the rest of your team a chance to get back. Yeah. Get into place. Seth is going to take the throw in. Short one to Landon. He's up against Gray now. Nice footwork there. Oh. But a whoa. <laughs> Almost hit him in the face, it looked like. Landon's going to end up with the ball. Sends it to the goal, and it's going to. The centering pass doesn't really mean anyone in the center. A little bit of a backtrack for the Colts. That's Andrew, I think, on the far side right now. But now Tatsuya comes up with the ball for the Red Hawks. He's coming up to the middle of the field. Little stop start there. And he Ooh. sends it up. That was Gifford. Couldn't bring the ball down. Another pass up to Landon. He can't keep it in bounds. That was unfortunate. I'm just, do we have a... Yeah, I'm going to take a little seat right now. Oh, now I can't even see anything. <laughs> Jeez. The whole post is right in the middle of the field. Gray sends it up. McMillan is there, but it's going to roll out of bounds. I can't see his number. Who are you? Never mind. He wasn't doing a throw. Oh, okay. They are doing a throw. Oh. I don't know what's happening. Neither do I. Okay, Gray's retrying the throwing. McMillan meets it. And the ball gets sent upfield. That was Camden. And Pazmandy... going to be marked out on uh, the Colts. Pazmany with the throw in. Oh, that was a nice throw. Yeah, that was nice. Miller couldn't bring it down though. And there's Pazmany again. He's everywhere. <laughs> That's Henry Pleasant with the ball right now. He's going up the far sideline. And the ball's going to go out of bounds. You just stood there. <laughs> you just let him take the ball out of bounds. Throw in from Pleasant. Fripp ends up with it, and he just sends it straight towards the oh, goal. Oh, hold on. Oh. Whoa. What just happened? Yakov lets down his guard a little bit, and Gifford, some great awareness there. That was nice. Couple headers, ball bouncing around. Malloy sends it up. McMillan got to get there in time, and he'll send it back to Fripp, who's looking for the forward pass. Oh, nice move. Whoa. McMillan. He can't keep the ball. That's Blake who's sending it up right now. Gets past past Mandy. And now running for it, that is Seth. I should remember that. He's doing a lot. It's the Colts ball. <laughs> I still don't know. No, I do know who 17 is. 17 is Brandon. I don't know why he's on that side of the field now. But he is. 
Ball's headed forward. Pass Mandy heads it back. And it's booted down the field in favor of the Red Hawks. Oh, can he get there? Gifford will not get there in time and almost gets his head taken off by the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant off of the throw-in. Passes it back. That's Tatsuya. He sends it forward. And Gifford, nice pass to McMillan. Oh. He's got some room to work. What's he going to do here? He's going to try and shoot it. Goes off of the back of the defender. And he re retains possession of the ball. Wow. Oh, with the pass a little, though. Yeah. Unfortunate. That could have been good. Ball goes out on Fripp, and it rolls off the track. Might have gotten under the stands. I'm not sure. Nope, didn't seem like it. Yeah, well, it went on. They went on the the little ramp. <laughs> so that is 34. That's Camden. Camden passes it into Andrew. Seth up against Pazmandy in a foot race, and Pazmandy's going to win. The ball's going to go out though. It'll be the Colts ball, it looks like, yeah. I gotta keep switching hands. Yeah. <laughs> blocked and so I'm just holding the papers in because that's <laughs> working better than my hand. Well, we got 15 minutes left in the first half. Um, and that means... Let's check. Throw in. Pazmandy. Fripp and Malloy all getting consecutive headers, but it's going to come down with Colts in possession. Ball is sent straight to Cusson, and he grabs it out of the air. So it's 5.30. We have an hour left of this sun. Awesome. We're doing good. We're, we're surviving, Oliver. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> Line drive of a punt. And that's pleasant oh, wow. up, I think. Gifford, he's all alone. Oh, oh, my God, he gets checked by the goalie. Is he good? He's staying down. Oh. oh. He gets up, though. Jeez, he got shook. Fripp with the ball. He's backtracking a little bit. Help him, Red! Fripp, he's kind of all alone right now. He's going to pass it back to Dean Gray across the field. And that was another bad pass, but um, Boardwell's going to end up with it. Tatsuya still kind of stumbling around as Gifford. He's taking a knee, and they're going to have a injury time out on the field. They're going to take a quick break and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're coming back from an injury timeout. Miller was uh, helped off the field by his coach. Here's a I nice opportunity for Seth. I thought it was Gifford. Oh no, you're right. That was my fault. Yeah. Gifford. Down yeah, it was Gifford. Ohio. Yeah. I mean, he took a big hit. He like basically kind of flipped in the air. Yeah. Is what it looked like. Hope he's doing okay. Yeah. He's sitting on the bench right now. He's definitely shaking, but I think you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him back in the game for the second half. Yeah, he really tried to get in there. He, he did not want to give up. Yeah, he had a good opportunity. I mean that those are the kind of plays where like, you know, you show the kind of effort that you're willing to make for the team. You end up, you know, becoming a regular starter you end up making the varsity team in a couple years that sort of thing because people understand that you're willing to make those kind of plays when it really counts and even when it doesn't really count I mean like Frontier's up 2-1 to one right now they don't need another goal they just need to hold the Colts oh, wow. he came in like a rock yeah oh with the kick though yeah that's been the problem for the Colts I think uh, yeah they, they get some good opportunities. They get some good offensive drives going, and then it just it just escapes them. And their, like, their aggressiveness, their defense, their ball handling, it's all like incredibly w like well put together. But yeah. just need to, it seems like they just need to work a little on their, on their kicks. Yeah. And there's the punt from Cusson. McMillan on the sideline. Nice move there. Wow. Sent forward. Beat him. There he is. He's going to take a shot. Oh, no. What an opportunity there. No, that was. Who is that? We don't have a number 13 on here. Oh, that's a shame. 
beautiful though. Who that is that? Let me see if I can recognize him. Do you have any idea who he is? No. Okay. I was about to ask Tom, but Tom doesn't know anyone that young at this school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a better chance than him, so I don't know. Do you know who number 13 is, Emma? Liam. Liam who? Last name? No nice clip. footwork. Wow. That was number 18. Who is that? Are we, like, pff, we don't have an 18. No. Again, there's we've got a first name. Well, uh, Liam had a great had a great opportunity there. We don't got a last name. Our apologies. Wait, Liam, was it Liam Wells? Was it Liam Wells? Because I know. I don't know. I know. I've I've heard the name Liam Wells thrown around a couple times. So maybe that's it. But I'll, we'll we'll just call him Liam just to be safe because I don't know. Either way, back on the field we've got a corner kick. Taken by Seth. Yeah. Whoa! Punched up in the air by Cussin. And deflection. yeah, it'll go out of bounds. It'll be another corner kick from the other side, though. You know, this kind of stuff is funny to me because I've seen stuff like this happen where it just keeps going out on the like the defensive team. So they keep having corner kicks on like the opposite side. So they just go back and forth. <laughs> I've seen that happen before. It's pretty funny. Seth with an opportunity. He's going to send it up, and Cussin is there to grab it out of the air as it got close to the goal. You know, other than those like little whiffs and like, the balls that got past him at the start of the game, Cussin's been doing really well. Yeah, he has. And Camden just did a fantastic job doing a little tightrope act on the sideline there. He'll take the throw in for the Colts. Sends it up to whoever number 18 is. I still don't know. I'm sorry, man. That might be no, because Seth is out on the field. I really don't know. Because I asked the coach, like, "Hey, uh, who are the numbers for the the subs?" Because there there are no numbers listed for the subs, and he was like, "Oh, you'll know." That's all he said. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, very helpful. What's their the goalie's name is the Yakov, right? Yakov. He's yeah. got a leg on it. He does. He really does. He can just consistently hit it all the way down to half field. Fripp sends the ball up to McMillan. Whatever it's called in soccer. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to figure out who had the ball. I was not listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gray no. takes the throw in for the Red Hawks. Well, 54 is named Mario, evidently, because I just heard that name thrown out as he headed the ball. So, I'll try and remember that. Pass made it. Ooh, nice pass between the legs. And Seth's going to send it to the middle. Andrew sent to Cussin. Nice. nice save. Ball's still loose, but I think it went out of bounds. Yeah, that'll be another corner. Okay. Wow, lots of corner kicks today. Yeah. Most of them are for the Colts. Mm hmm yeah. Yeah. You know it's another sport that has corners? It's field hockey, the game behind us. I don't know anything about that sport, <laughs> Not really. I just I cover it with Miss Chapley because she knows the sport. Here's the corner. And McMillan ends up with it. He's going to pass it up to Liam. He's going to do a little stop and go. Oh, Cross the field go. pass. Is Fripp going to get to it in time? Turn? No. Like yeah. Brandon passes it up. Oh, nice pass. 18. Who can... Ooh. Nice play there by Dean. He knew it was coming to him. He's pulled that move yeah. on him a couple he times. Tried now. To, he tried to do some fancy. Got punished. Yeah. Whoa. What happened there? I do not know. That was Tatsuya on the ball. I, I really have no idea. It looked like he tried to do something fancy with the ball himself. But maybe he got, like, held or something. Pazmandi is going to send it over to McMillan. McMillan's going to pass it back to Gray. And he keeps moving back. That was not the right move to make. Yeah. Gray just had no idea. What's up? Sub is coming in. That's uh, 37. Do we have a 37? That's Jackson. 
Hey, this. Okay. Oh. Six more minutes. Dean. That's his name because, Dean? okay. Jackson just came in, number 37, because I have him here. Jackson just came in for number 18, and number there's no number, but the sub for Jackson is Dean. Mm. So we, we know now number 18 is Dean. Ah, beautiful. I wish he'd written the numbers. That would have made Problem it so much solving. easier. There's also someone named Mono. Mono? Mono. M-A-N-O. Oh, and no. no. Yeah. Not what I... Well, I am. Not important. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pleasant gets the ball, sends it oh. forward. Oh, yeah. Liam going to try and beat the goalie. Ooh, the yeah. ball is loose. Oh. Liam is the only Red Hawk there. It sends towards the goal. Is it going to go out of bounds? He's the only Red Hawk racing for it, and he beats out the goal. He gives him a little tap on the shoulder. What a struggle. My God. Oh, it's oh. So, love that display of sportsmanship. Yeah. Seems like Yakov is complaining a little bit. Maybe some unwarranted contact. Oh, hold on. Whoa, hold on. Oh. That's why he's upset. It's a penalty kick. Oh. Oh, because he probably hit him before he touched yeah. the ball. He probably... Wow. Okay, well. Penalty hey. kick. Who's that's that? On the, who's that on the kick? 13? That's Liam. Liam, okay. Yeah. Yakov walking over to the side. What's going on here? Are they switching him out? I think they are. Oh, I do not know who that is. We don't have him on our roster. Seems like. What is going on? I don't know. Oh, they are. It looks like they're subbing him out. Yeah. Yeah. So there he is. Okay. There's a little bit of a delay. Yeah. We don't. We don't. Know. We don't have. I have no idea know. who that is. No. Awesome. No idea at all. It may. I think he has a jersey on underneath that we that we might be able to have seen, but I didn't catch it in time. Maybe he's a specialist of sorts. I've never seen this I, before. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the coach might just. He, Yakov was kind of talking Look, back yeah, to the. Angry. Yeah, he was talking back to the referee. Maybe he's. A, the coach took him off for that reason. <laughs> I, yeah, I really Sorry. have no idea. I just I just watched him move the ball back a little, and then the guy walk over and just push it back. To the <laughs> <where> it was. <laughs> yeah, it's those little things. I think a good way to describe soccer, I think, is a game of microaggressions. <laughs> 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 it's just like a little thing. I mean, like, look at him. What What did you change about I him? Like, I really don't know. <laughs> Not to. I mean, like, I should step back. I haven't played soccer in like I don't even know how yeah. long, but. Here's Liam for the penalty kick. Oh! oh. oh wow! And I don't know who 98 is, but he was he was saying a couple of things to Liam as he was running out of the box. What is that timeout? I think that's a timeout call to make the switch. Oh! Yeah, and he's pumped. Look at that. I think maybe he's like a like a. You think they bring? Yeah, him actually, wait. I think that might possibly? be the. I think that might be the half. It's not. There's still two. Well, minutes. it says there's time, yeah. but it's a timeout. It looks like. Well, it, they're, they're taking a quick break on the field, and uh, we'll take a quick break up here. We'll, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert. Kevin Murphy, all the rest of the FCAT crew. We're coming into the second half of the JV boys soccer game against the Chicopee Comp Colts. You know, I like the little twang you put on my last name. What are you talking about? Did you say my last name? Oliver Cox. No, not like that. You said it different. You were like Cox. Oliver Cox. Like a, like a, like a um. Bostonian. Do I talk? Do I talk like I'm from Boston? Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes yeah. I do. I do a little thing. Oh, swing and a miss. <laughs> this is Tatsuya here coming down the sideline. Nice centering passes. Liam's going to be there in time. Beautiful. He won't. That was a fantastic drive. Save oh. for Pleasant, <gasps> and Yakov is there. We still don't know who made that incredible save off the of penalty yeah, kick. We don't. We have a couple guesses, but the only thing I have to go off of is he had some, <laughs> he had some <laughs> sweaty, <laughs> slick back hair, and that's all I can tell you. Starter, <laughs> possibly then. I mean, yeah. <sighs> you think it was 17 times? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going on. That's what I'm thinking as well. 17. We have 17 down is Brandon. So, Brandon, he's been making some big plays on defense, and he just made he made that big save. 
to keep his team in the game. It's still 2-1. to one. Frontier's on top, but that is Dion with the ball right now trying to move it up. Seth and Malloy is going to send it away. Fripp will pass it back for Gray, and Gray can't get a good handle on it. He'll send it out of bounds. Well, I'll tell you something, Oliver. Yeah? I think that the Colts are starting to put in some more energy, is what I can see. Do you think the energy they had in the first half wasn't enough? No, I don't. Think I mean, I think that they started off with some strong energy. They did score first, but then they it kind of died down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Can beat him. Doesn't look like he can. I don't think that he was trying all that much. I didn't. I don't think he liked the angle too much. Tatsuya almost stops him. On the sideline, and a Ooh, big pass yeah. forward. Cussin, is he going to get there? He will. Just a couple moments before Seth gets there, and he'll punt it. Pass Fripp, and it's sent forward. I can't see who that is. Now they're in the, the problem. Um, <laughs> Has Mandy sends it up. Pleasant can't keep a hold of it, and a pass forward is going to get scooped up by Cousin. And see, this is this is what was happening to um, Frontier before early on in the game, where they kept sending it like it was Fripp, I think, right, Oliver? Uh, possibly. He kept sending the bat the ball forward. They pass it back to him. He punt it forward, and it would just end up right in the hands of Yakov. Yeah, that's what would happen to them. And now this is what's happening to the Colts. Whistle is blown and the play is dead. I can't do this much longer, man. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> you know, I got a good position down here. Well, you, do, down. you have a good position. I can rest my arms against. You the still things. have your shoes on, though. That's the thing. Me and Tom, <laughs> me and Tom don't have shoes on anymore. No, I'm, I'm this close to taking my socks off too. <laughs> don't do that. Listen, dude, it's hot. No, you're gonna stink it up. <laughs> Pass back to Yakov, and he'll clear it out. Nice little chip forward. Seth is there for the Colts. Pass up. Nice pass is there. It won't get to its intended target. 37 Jackson will pass it to Dean. Oh, a little bit of a collision. Yeah. Communication. Seth is there, and it's sent forward a little dribble to... That's cussing on the ball. I keep forgetting his name. You know, you think that'd be the easiest one to remember seeing as it's a goalie. I mean, yeah, I suppose. Well, see, when I think of Frontier Soccer and I think of the goalie, I just think of Owen Pat. Because, yeah, he, yeah. yeah he's the varsity he's, he's goalie. He's humongous. He, yeah, and he is. He's, he's like 6'4", 6'5". Six, 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 like, I could easily buy 6'5", honestly. Oh, Tatsuya almost gets Ooh. it. He was racing for Ooh, it. Oh, he gets the ball away from him, oh. but it's going to get cleared out. Fripp can't get a handle of it. That's Andrew trying to clear it out for his team. Sun's getting lower in the sky, which is good for us. And Cousin's going to have to punt it out. No. Uh, he'll scoop it up first. No, Tetsuya. Is that how you say his name? Tetsuya. Tetsuya. Yeah. He's really going, like, heavy in the second half. Here. Yeah. We didn't see him that much in the first half. Miller passes it to Tetsuya. And nice play there. That was Jackson. Puts it out of bounds. As the pass forward. And I really, I mean, here's the thing. I'm yeah. just going to put this out here right now. I don't know if that is Tatsuya. <laughs> I'm, like, pretty sure. Because, like, I don't know him personally. That's the thing. And I was just told that number 16, uh, Mickey Brownlow, was getting replaced by Tatsuya on the field. And I was never given Tatsuya's number. <laughs> so, I don't see... I see every other number on the field except for 16, which was Brownlow's number. And I'm seeing the added number of 11. So I'm assuming that that's Tetsuya. But I like honestly can't tell. And I'm just realizing that now. And so I want to put out an apology to whoever number 11 is. If you are, in fact, Tetsuya, you uh, don't disregard the apology. But if you aren't Tetsuya, I'm very sorry that I've been calling you someone else this whole game. <laughs> You know what we could have done during the half? We could have come 
lead, like during break there, halftime, we could have just gotten cleared up. You know, that's true, but it's really hot. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't want to. It is cooling down though. It's cooling it down. It is. We got a little breeze going right now. I don't know if you can feel that. Oh, uh, yeah, I can. It's nice. Some nice defense from the Hawks. Seth is going to send towards the goal, and Cussin nice. punches it out of bounds. He's got a couple good saves going tonight. What'd you hit me for, Mason? I didn't hit you. <laughs> All right, you can't do this to me, okay? I'm sorry. You better be. And that was a little threatening. I'm for, sorry. for the record, I just hit you with paper. I didn't like punch you or anything. No, you actually kicked me in my stomach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's Seth taking the kick, corner kick for the Colts. He'll send it into the middle of the box. Header goes up, and it's still up in the air. Cousin comes down with it. Nice vertical there. He'll throw it down to Liam. And Liam can't get it past Andrew. McMillan, he's fighting for it, but it'll get cleared back out to Paz Mandy. Ball rose right up to his face. Wow. <laughs> like three headers in a row. Paz Mandy fighting oh, against Seth for it. Can he get. Oh, he's got that. Yeah, he does. Oh, that. yeah, beautiful. Wow. I heard that one. Yeah. I think they're saying that he went out of bounds, actually. Or, whoa, we got a couple. We got a lot of subs coming in. Wow. Uh, we have 27 minutes left in the game. A bunch of subs just came in for Frontier, and I have no idea who any of them are, except for number 16. He is on the field now. That's Mickey Brownlow. Ball is sent up for Seth. Miller tries to pass it to McMillan. But that's Brendan there. Brendan? Brendan. It is Brandon. I was right the second time. That one, I think that was pretty sure that was a handball. I think he fell and he like... Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Never mind. Oh. Interesting. I forgot we changed sides. Header for the Colts. I'm not sure. Who's 49? Do I have that here? I don't. Is that 49? Uh, he turned it. Okay. <laughs> Brandon for the throw in. Sends it up to Seth and he can't bring it down. Pass over to Miller for the Red Hawks. Oh, wow. Seth <laughs> coming in. He's looking for a penalty against. Has Mandy <laughs> falls out of bounds. I think he just kind of got off balance after the kick. Well, no, I'm just. I kid. He had some legs on. He was moving. Yeah, he did. Seth centers the ball, and it's sent back downfield, way downfield. Aiden's there for the Colts. Aiden sends it forward. You know, I'm starting to wonder something. Yeah. I don't... None of these names on our sheet look like last names. <laughs> and I think I'm just reading out the first names. Possibly. But... <laughs> I don't know about, like, the Ukrainian names, like Yakov and Danik and that sort of thing. But... You know... Also, I just realized, uh, you know, uh, 18? Yes, 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 yes. So his name is Dylan. Dylan. I was reading it Dion the whole time. <laughs> because No, because there was a line that they drew right through the top of the L. I apologize to everyone. <laughs> Man, you were really... This is, you know what? It's the heat. I'm blaming the heat. Miller passes it up to Brownlow. Brownlow can't keep a hold of it, but Pleasant is there. He can't keep it either. And it's going to be sent up for the Colts. Colts looking for something to happen, and I think they called an offsides. Yeah. I'm just realizing so many things right now. And it's I'm having like a personal nightmare. Okay. Right, here comes the train. 
Well, don't worry, it's going to stop. <laughs> Throwing for the Colts. Miller's there. Tatsuya, he can't get his hand on it. Just <laughs> some nice footwork there. He's going to send it up. McMillan, he's going to get in the foot race, and he's sent down to the ground. I think the whistle was blown, although I couldn't hear it because of the train. <laughs> They're going to give... Brandon a yellow card. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a yellow card get like pulled out in a JV game. Yeah, that's interesting. Of course, he's not very happy about it. No. I don't think anyone would be. No. Brandon takes a seat on the bench and there's going to be a free kick for the Red Hawks with under 23 minutes left in the game. They're still up two to one. If they get a good play here, it could put them up by two goals. Can't see who's taking the kick, but here we go. Sent right into the goal, hits a crossbar, and it's cleared out, oh my God. That was a little close. Red Hawks can't get a handle on it until Miller gets there, and he's bodied and sent to the ground. No whistle from that. Miller fighting for it with McMillan. A little bit of confusion. A nice pass up to McMillan. Is he going to get there in time? He will. And he'll send it towards oh. the goal, but it lands outside. Oh, it's a tense play. <laughs> you know, I wonder if we had like some slow motion replay they would have called that a goal if it like you know crossed the line or something like that go frontier Colts are going to take the throw in now Across the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's stuffy again. Oof. Oof. That happens. Oof. I was getting <laughs> stuffy in my in my uh, Latin class because that room was so hot, man. Oh, no it was hotter than yeah. it was like out here. Cause I like I don't know. There's something about that room where it just gets hotter than everywhere else in the building. Oh, that was landing. I think it's still landing with the ball, oh. but it'll get cleared Good out. Kick. Oh, can he make? Can he? I think that's <laughs> Liam. It's still going to get sent up. Pleasant with a chance. Now Tatsuya. Let's see what he can do. He'll get it by the midfielder. Is he going to get it by the defender now? On the far sideline, they're fighting for it. This is like. Brown low, and now a pass up. Seth, look at him go oh, against wow. Mandy. That kid is fast. Yeah. Ball goes out on pass Mandy. They'll throw it in to Cussin. Oh. Oh. And here's a shot on goal. Goes over the crossbar. That could have tied the game. That was definitely like, it was good. Yeah. Great setup. The throw in from Seth and trying to see who that is with the kick. Though he isn't turning his body the right way. 18. That's Landon, yeah. Under 20 to go now. And yeah, there you go on the sideline. There's number 17. Oh, he is. Yeah, Brandon. He he was the. He's got his goalie jersey. He was Tom the one was that, right. made the so, that made the save. <laughs> Look at him. Be nice and knees, folding his jersey up. Nice job. Miller comes on the field for Liam. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know the kid's name. He's putting some great plays this game, though. Sun's almost down. Yeah. And we'll Just waiting. Yeah. Paz Mandy oh, sends wow. it up through all the defenders. It's going to get to Yakov. 
but Gifford is there. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we Both go again. Just one one guy that races after it. That's all it really takes, you know. Both of these teams are being very aggressive today. Another foot race against Paz Mandy and Seth. Seth's going to get it this time. Centering pass, headed towards the goal, and Crusty is there to bring it down. Jackson was closing on him. Yeah. Eighteen minutes on the clock. Here's the throwing. Handball. Call it on Boardwell. That was a good call. It hit his elbow. And that one looked. I don't know if it was like reactionary. Or what yeah, I think it kind of just came towards his body and he couldn't move his arm out of the way. You know, it happens. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal unless they score here. <laughs> that's yeah, <laughs> that's that would the be, thing. That would be a shame. Landon sends it towards the goal, and Cussin is right there. Cussin's on a roll today. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I don't think that was a very smart play by oh, Landon. Oh, no, not, for, not at all. He should have sent it a little more across the field, try and find one of his teammates to head it in or deflect it in some way. Clear it out down the field for the Colts, and they can't bring it down before it goes out of bounds. Now we're getting the pretty part of the sunset, starting to hit the golden hour, you know? It would be awesome if it still wasn't shining in my face. That would be really great. You know, I prefer it if it was, like, behind us. Maybe for once the sun could set in the east today. <laughs> <laughs> Just reverse the spin of the earth. You know... <laughs> Just for our sake. Just for our sake. I th we're that valuable, right? I, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> I think we could change the... What even the... the, the Earth's rotation? Yeah. Rotation on its axis, right? I feel like that would affect something. I don't have a science class this year, so I don't know. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. Oh, I'm out of it. Oh, wow. Here's the pass up. Seth running to it. And Cousin's going to get there in time. Seth's yeah. giving it yeah, his all. Yeah, he's giving he's it his all. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like every time there could be a possible breakaway or whatever, he's just there. Yeah. I d like, he wasn't there two seconds ago, but all of a sudden he is there. Yeah. Chip forward by the Landon. I keep forgetting his name. Well, because there's a Landon and a Brandon, so I keep mixing up their names. And uh, what if, there's another one, right? <laughs> oh, my God! What, what just happened? What a goal! My, my <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> was it a little loud on my part? My 49. Mic. That was who it was. <sighs> what, that we was have like 48 as Aiden, but I don't know who 49 is. That was possibly one of the most beautiful goals I've ever seen in this sport. And the game is tied with 15:40 15 15 left in the game. Wow. After all of the great close opportunities inside the box that the Colts have had. That's how they score. <laughs> That's yeah. incredible. And now I gotta say, Oliver, it's like Frontier really needs to come up with something right now and it looks like they might be. Miller. Ooh, he goes down. Kind of got slide tackled there. He's rolling around a little bit but he's gonna get up and walk it off. They'll get a free kick. I think they might end up subbing him out. Or they might, they might just keep him on. I think it might have just hit him in like the side of his ankle or something. Bad hit with the cleat. I don't know. Oh yeah, like I was just saying, Frontier needs to come up with something. Yeah. Looks like they soon. are. There's a great opportunity for him. Miller's going to be back to uh, take the free kick. This could be the goal. Yeah. To change the or the the chance to change the game. The goal to change the game. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. Miller looked like he was gonna go kick, but he moved the ball about two millimeters to the right. <laughs> <laughs> I I still don't get it. But okay, here we go. Miller with the kick. Oh, and he sends I, it. I he hits the uprights. Ooh. The field goal is no good, folks. <laughs> the the field the uprights are shaking. Wrong sport. Is <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they're really shaking. Yeah, he hit that hard. That was still very impressive. <laughs> so now we got under 14 minutes. Yakov 
We had a line drive right by Tatsuya. Centering pass to Seth. Malloy's gonna come up with it. Pass it up to McMillan. He's looking for someone downfield and he'll send it out of bounds. Throw in for the Colts. You know this, this guy on the side? He's like on top of throwing the ball yeah. to these guys. He knows what's up, man. Do we have someone on the near side of the field? No, we don't. I don't think so anyway. That's Landon. Centering pass and it's a little bit too far ahead of Seth. Cussin grabs it and sends it past McMillan. McMillan can't quite get his footing and won't come up with the ball. But Gray, let's see if he can get it by Seth. He won't. Seth gets the ball and it goes out. Unfortunate. That would have been a nice opportunity. He could have rounded that corner, I think. I think he could have too. Yeah. But you know, stuff happens. Yeah. Fripp comes in for McMillan for the Hawks. See now, at least it's kind of pretty. You know, you're looking out at the sky and it's starting to turn a nice little orange. <laughs> Still can't see those. I so. mean, yeah, but it's a it's a nice light, nice light for photography. You know. Oh, hit my mic there. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, I want to know who the ball boy is. He's doing a great job. Yeah, get his name. Give him a shout out. Oh yeah. What happened there? What was that? I do not know. <laughs> The ref grabbed his foot and pointed at someone. I, uh, <sighs> I know in field hockey you can't hit the ball with your foot, but in soccer that's kind of the whole point, <laughs> so I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I only know like the hand movements for like uh, football. Yeah. That's really that's really the only thing I know. And a bit ba basketball too. That's another one that I know. Soft pass goes out of bounds. You couldn't get to it in time. Gray with the throw in to Tatsuya. He'll pass it back to Gray. Gray trying to recover. Paz Mandy. He'll lose oh. position of the ball. We got a breakaway now. That's Landon against Paz Mandy. Paz Mandy with a nice slide tackle, and Seth is there. Can they come oh. up with the ball? Oof. Now it'll be Brownlow on the sideline. They keep it in bounds. Colts still have the ball. That's going to be pleasant. Wow, that was close. Wow, that was... 11 on the clock. Throwing from the Hawks. Sent forward. Whistle is blown. Oh, yellow forward. Wow. That's the second for the Colts. That's the first for uh, Landon, though. The first one went to... Uh, first one went to Dylan, I think. Parents are none too happy about oh. that. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised we have parents from all the way from Chicopee. I know. Coming yeah, out that's to see a this far, game. far drive. Yeah. Some invested parents. I've been there. I'm not sure. I think a free kick, maybe. Maybe it went out of bounds. Yeah, they're saying that Brownlow couldn't keep it in bounds. A little bit of a late decision, but yeah, good know. decision, I guess. We got under 10 left in the game. It's still tied two to two. They don't go to overtime, do they? I think. No, 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 it's a tie. It's a little bit tie. Yeah. Unless you're talking about, like, they do have, like, extra time to account for all the uh, penalties. That's well. true, yeah. Colts fighting for it. Nice header there. I'm not sure who that was. It's 54. And the ball gets sent backwards. Gifford, he's all alone. He'll send it up. He's trying to get to it, but he won't in time. Fripp is there to intercept the pass from Yakov, though. He'll send it forward. Pleasant can't keep his, his foot off. <laughs> oh, my God, what a save. Not even by the goalie. <laughs> what an incredible play. Pleasant in between two defenders. Oh, are you kidding me? Beautiful display. Of that. Uh, I don't even know who was that. Defense. I can't even talk. That was Brandon. Speechless. 
Brandon, that's his second save of the night. And now Frontier immediately back on defense. Pass up, that's Andrew on the ball. Centering pass, no one's there in time, and Custon's going to have to go and get it himself. He'll pick it up and throw it over to, I think that's Fripp with the ball. Yep. Tatsuya. Taking it slow. He'll send it up. Gifford. Can't get there in time. A little bit of a flood kick there. Miller, he can't get a handle on it. He's getting pushed back. Gray will send it forward. Pleasant can't get his foot in it. Brownlow, he's there. Gets the ball taken away from him. And a kick right into the goalie box oh, by man. Miller. The sun is finally setting now. Yeah, I can see. I get, it's so nice. I'm standing up now. <laughs> Yakov sends it forward. Kind of trips up Malloy. And Seth, his progress gets ruined by Pazmandy. And Tatsuya, some fancy footwork there. Miller, pass back to Tatsuya. Some forward progress for the Red Hawks. But Brandon's going to try and move it forward. Tatsuya intercepts it, sends it down to Yakov, and it's going to be scooped up by him. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about that one, man. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, I guess they're trying to just make something happen, send it downfield, but, like, at the same time. There's no one really there, too. Receive. Yeah, I feel like you need to be a little bit more strategic about it. Especially with only seven minutes left, you really have to... Yeah, if you really want to come out with the win, especially... I mean, like, they were winning for most of the game, and then it just got taken away from them just a couple minutes ago. Ball sent out of bounds by the Red Hawks. I can finally take my sunglasses off. That feels nice. They're, like, pressed against my head from the headset. I, I swear I have like indents from my sunglasses like on the sides of my face right now. Oh, you get used. <laughs> oh yeah, I was saying, I forgot you put glasses. You forgot. Well, I've been looking at the game the whole time, not you. Brown low. Try to keep it in and he will. Yeah, yeah, I think, and I think that's Miller. a good call there. Yeah, as late as it was, that it was, a, that was for sure. Brandon lays down on the field after he throws a does the throw a nice header in Ooh. yak off there in time wow that was a beautiful setup gray ball almost that gets under him that touches head yeah jeez oh. refs blow the oh. whistle whoa the yellow wait i think that was to malloy yeah he was too close to the ball. That's what was happening. He was just standing right in front of it. That was the problem. Free kick sent forward into the goalie box, and Custon's there to scoop it up. Custon sends it up to Gifford. Gifford. Has someone there. This buzz is going to get to in time. He won't. And Valsen out of bounds. Throwing. Taken by Bardwell. Header. Oh, that is, geez. Right to his face. Oh, my God. They're going to take a knee on the field. And uh, we'll be back in just a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Colt send it forward. We're under five minutes now left in the game. It's still tied. Colts might have something here. They got a little bit of offense going. Ball sent forward, and Carson is there. Deflects off the back of Malloy, I think it was. Wow. The punt by Carson was brought down. That was 31. That was Danik. Ball's out of bounds. Throwing for Fripp and the Red Hawks. Miller. Gifford sends it up. Fripp racing down the sideline. Is it going to stay in? He's going to get to it. Oh, they're going to say it went out. Ah, he almost got to that too. Did, wow. Yeah. Wow. Four minutes left on the clock now. And we're seeing the varsity teams file onto the field. 
throw in for the Colts. Gets up to Danik. Danik passes to Landon. Landon going between defenders and he just kicks it straight to Cussin. I'm not really sure what was going yeah. on. He should have waited a little bit longer, I feel like. The pump by Cussin headed forward. That's Blake. Malloy comes up with the ball. Nice avoiding the slide tackle there. Good footwork. And now some forward motion by the Colts along the far sideline. Up against Gray. It'll stop and backtrack a little bit. And Gray helps out with the defense. Flip is there. He's got some room to work with. He'll pass it up. Let's see if someone can get to it. Gifford will not get there in time. Throwing for the Red Hawks, though. Fripp will take it. Throws it back to Tatsuya. Nice play there. Miller back to Fripp. Centering pass. Pleasant can't get a handle on it, and Yakov will be there. 2.30 on the clock. Yakov punts it down the field. Pazmandi is going to get there for it. Can he keep it? He'll send it up. Nice play. Colts trying to push forward. They'll send it up. Cussin scoops it up. Oh, it's just going back and forth, man. Yeah, it's just... But it seems that the Colts have really had, like... Control in the second half. Yeah, I think that's that's true. I don't. Yakov I will really punt it out, and I don't understand the point of that. I guess just getting it out of play. I think that no, was not the not the punt out, but why did he kick it so far up? If there's I, literally yeah, no one to, no one could have possibly made it there. Brownlow trying to make something happen for the Hawks. And the ball is cleared out downfield. The ball will go out of bounds. Pazmady will take the throw in. And now we're under two minutes. The clock on the scoreboard is stopped and it's just up to the refs to keep time. Pass forward by Pazmandy. Oh, headed. Fripp, he's gonna get there before it gets out. Passes it up. Gifford, he shoots it. Oh my God. <laughs> And Gifford, for the second time, is down on the ground, and he has his head in his hands. They're going to take another injury timeout, and there's a red card. What happened? I don't know. They're going to take an injury timeout, and we'll be back in just a few moments. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We have an interesting course of events that's happening out on the field right now. So, uh, someone on the field, I think it might have been Yakov got a red card yeah for the hit against um gifford he's still out on the field and he's standing he seemed to have walked it off but now we have a penalty kick because the penalty that <laughs> warranted the red card happened in the penalty box we have number 17 brandon the defender he's out in the goalie box. He's gonna be defending the penalty kick that's taking place, and Miller's gonna be kicking for the Red Hawks. Here's the kick to win the game, and he's gonna go! Connor Miller! Bringing it home for his Red Hawks. With under two minutes left in the game, it's all but over for the Colts. What a way to end it. Wow, that was loud. My bad. <laughs> You're fine, man. That was... Wow, I was not expecting a finish like that. I'm not even sure exactly what led up to that penalty kick. Colts just have a few moments left to mount a nearly impossible comeback. Oh my god. Seth will take the throw in. Throws it forward and Pazmandy will hit it back out of bounds. 
Seth again with the throw in. Seems like they're just stalling for time now. Yeah. I mean, they're going to put in extra time, right? Do they do that? I think it's yeah, I think already in extra, extra time. time. Yeah. Over two minutes. That's Bardwell up against Landon. Landon a little bit of room, and he'll send it a little bit left of the uprights. That's the game. The Frontier Redhawks win it in a JV game against Chickabee Comp. The game winner was scored in a penalty kick by Carter Miller. Wow. That was, well, you know, when I was told that we were going to be doing a JV game, Oliver, I didn't expect it to be this exciting. Yeah, wow. This is about the third time in a row that the, that the Frontier Athletic Department has uh, surprised me, and in a very good way. Uh, with how well they're, how well and how exciting their sports teams can perform this year. Um, but yeah, uh, now we're going to be getting ready to cover the varsity game. We're seeing the teams warm up out in the field right now. Do you have any final thoughts on the game and any predictions going into uh, the varsity game? Any patterns you think we might I, see? You know, I have not seen one of these varsity games so I have no idea but I know a lot of the players on the team and I know a lot of them are really good yeah so I, I think it'll be exciting to see yeah I'm really looking forward to it so once again final score for boys JV soccer it's three to two frontier ends up on top over the Chicopee Colts game winner by Carter Miller in a penalty kick in the last couple minutes Ivan Mason Smith Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, all the rest of the FCAT crew, thank you all for tuning in, and we hope you watch the varsity game, which is sure to be just as exciting. Thank you for watching Frontier Community Access Television.